Hi students, this animation and description would help you to learn physics even more easier and better. So please do watch it and enjoy learning physics. Interference of light Two slits A and B illuminated by a single monochromatic source S acts as coherent sources. The waves from these two coherent sources travel in the same medium and superpose at various points as shown. The crest of the wave trains are shown by thick continuous lines and troughs are shown by broken lines. At points where the crest of one wave meets the crest of the other wave or the trough of one wave meets the trough of the other wave, the waves are in phase, the displacement is maximum and these points appear bright. These points are marked by crosses. This type of interference is said to be constructive interference. At points where the crest of one wave meets the trough of the other wave, the waves are in opposite phase, the displacement is minimum and these points appear dark. These points are marked by circles. This type of interference is said to be destructive interference. Therefore, on a screen XY, the intensity of light will be alternatively maximum and minimum, that is, bright and dark bands which are referred as interference rings. The redistribution of intensity of light on account of the superposition of two waves is called interference. Condition for sustained interference The interference pattern in which the positions of maximum and minimum intensity of light remain fixed with time is called sustained or permanent interference pattern. The conditions for the formation of sustained interference may be stated as the two sources should be coherent, two sources should be very narrow, the sources should lie very close to each other to form distinct and broad fringes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel for more videos.